What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're here with AFL Mastermind Episode 2. We're here with the king of Western Australia YouTube. We're here with you. <laughs> How are you? Yo Noah. Uh, yeah, I'm doing, doing really well. Thank you. It's, it's an honour to be on this great channel. Um, good man. Reminds me of myself as a young lad. So uh, it's great to be here. So what we are doing today is, well, AFL Mastermind Episode 2. Roll the video. How to play AFL Mastermind. In round one, you have to answer 10 questions about your AFL club at a quick fire pace. In round two, you have to answer 10 questions about AFL general knowledge at a quick fire pace. In round three, you have nine clues to either answer an AFL YouTuber, player, coach, or girl. This is AFL Mastermind. Yep, let's go. Woo! All right. Your time starts now. In which year did Fremantle play in their first ever preliminary final? 2006. Correct. Post Matthew Pavlich, who now wears the number 29 for the Dockers? Luke Valente. Correct. In which year did Mark Harvey coach his first game for Frio? 2008. Correct. Who was Fremantle's leading goal kicker in the year they made their first grand final appearance? Uh, Pav? Michael Walters. Oh. In which former, which former docker won the Doig medal in 2017? Uh, Lockie Neal. Bradley Hill. In, how many points did Fremantle lose by in their only ever AFL grand final? Oh, it was like 13. 15. Fuck! <laughs> how many derbies have been played between West Coast and Fremantle? Uh, 50. Correct. Who was the coach of the Dockers prior to Mark Harvey? Uh, Chris Conley. Correct. What is the facility that the Fremantle Dockers trained at? Uh, the Coburn Arc. Correct. <laughs> yeah. True or false, the plan to add a Fremantle-based team to the VFL came up at the idea of merging South Fremantle and Claremont. Uh, false. True, oh sorry, false, Don't. yes. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> My bad there. So, you ended up getting a very, very respectable total of 7 out of 10. So, you, I think you did better than Mitch. So, um... Good, sir. So I, I was happy with up. that. They were rolling off the tongue. Coming off the dome, boy. I'm happy I, with I that. Was, I was very... I tried to make them challenging, but, um... No, I think I I'm just a bad quiz maker. Round 2. General Knowledge. Oh, and by the way, I'm not camera shy. The reason I'm looking down most of the video is because I'm either getting the questions ready or reading the questions. So, um, yeah, if you're a new viewer to the channel. On another note, if you're wondering why Druzy's audio is absolutely fucked, it's because through my end, I was accidentally recording his Skype audio, which isn't the greatest. So, um, yeah, that's, that's something on my bad. Righty. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Okay. Alright, your time starts now. True or false, d gets his bag on pile. Yeah, that's true, for sure. Correct. Which Adelaide Crows Rockman accidentally tweeted out his game notes about Nick Nat Dewey a few days ago? Mr. O'Brien. Cor- Oh, full name, please. Nah, it's just O'Brien. I just know him as O'Brien. <laughs> oh, <it's not. laughs> yes. Who was Lopo's coach prior to Sheward you? Oh, um, Rodney Ede. Correct. In which non-Victorian city do North Melbourne play a small part of their home games at? Uh, Launceston. Hobart. How many wooden <sighs> spoons have the Gold Coast Suns had? Four. Two. In which year did both the Power and the Crows move back to a redeveloped Adelaide Oval? Um, no idea. 2005. 2014. In which oh. year did Sydney and Oh, right, yeah, right. Yeah, I can which that. <laughs> In which year did Sydney and GWS play in their first ever Sydney derby? 2012. Correct. Which Victorian based club won the first ever AF. Which Victorian based club won the first ever VFL grand final? Jeez. Uh. Melbourne. Fitzroy. Which two ah. clubs played in the infamous Line of the Sand match in 2004? Oh. I don't know. Uh, Port Adelaide and fucking Brisbane. Hawthorne and Essendon. Which oh, that's right. player who was featured in the hit song Kayla McDonald's Cult Figures That I Miss is now an assistant coach at Hawthorne? 
Oh, I missed it and I didn't know who it was. It was Adam Muse. Alrighto, yeah. Didn't All right. know. Truzy, I am absolutely disgusted. Are you saying you haven't even remotely bothered to learn Kanga McDonald's cult figures that I miss off by heart? Disgusting, mate. Disgusting. Five out of ten? Did I get to the tenth question? Was that the last question? That was that the I got last to? question, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, five out of ten. I didn't know. Or I could have got the Adelaide Oval one. I just bloody had a mental break. Um, but yeah, no, not too bad. Not too bad. No, not too bad at all. So overall right now, you have got 12. So Mitch Ryan got 18 in the first episode. So in, in order, in the slow burn, to at least tie or overtake him, you'll have to guess on the fourth clue. Alright, I reckon I can do it. Alright. I'm ready, let's go. So you've got nine clues to guess an AFL coach. Oh, I suck at my coaches, <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> Alright, as long as it's Justin Longmuir, we won't have any issues. <laughs> oh, yeah. Alright. <laughs> first clue. He played for a non-Victorian team. A few moments later. Um, alright. Slow it down so I can, I can have a thing, right, though. So, all right. he played for a non-Victorian team. He played for a non-Victorian team. Okay. He is from Adelaide, South Australia. Right. He played for Sydney. Oh boy. Um. You'll have to guess here if you want to overtake Mitch. Oh, who played for Sydney? That's the current coach. But you can wait one more if you want to tie him. Oh, I'm just going through the coaches now. Um, and I only have one guess, hey? Yeah. Oh, that's tough. That is very tough. Um, oh, I don't, oh, I actually don't know. Who played for Bloody Sydney? Um, I'm having the biggest mental blank. Some of the Scott, it's not Alistair Clarkson, not Damien Hardwick, not... The horse. No, all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for one more hint, and uh, I'll tie with Mitchie. He played over 150 games from 1996 to 2005. So 2005, and he played for Sydney. Oh, yeah. it's fucking North Melbourne's coach. What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Um, something sure. Shorey, it's Mr. Shaw. <laughs> it's not, it's Matthew Nix from Adelaide. Oh, no! Oh, so you get zero points that round. Zero. <laughs> oh, I'm so sure I had it. What a loser. <laughs> <laughs> I think you would have had it with the next clue as well. He took a head have... coaching role this year. Yeah, so I didn't know his name, so I wouldn't have got it because I'm not that good on, on the coaches. I thought I had it. Oh, yeah. Played for Sydney, current coach. Time frame was probably completely off, but it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. It is, it is what it is. So you finish with a total of 12 points. So unfortunately, sliding to second place on the AFL Mastermind leaderboard, but no doubt a very respectable total <laughs> up here today. So. Uh, thank you for coming on the channel today. I'll leave Druzy's link in the description. Make sure to go subscribe to him. I'm sure you've already heard of him. And, uh, yeah. Cheers, boys. Thanks for having me, mate. And, uh, keep watching this plonker. Subscribe to him and whatnot. And, yeah, keep watching. Cheers. See you later.